Hey, is that what you <laughs> My back hurts. On this week's stand. episode of Underground After Hours, we're talking about Ian Smith, anti Semite. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this show's about. Can we just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just fall apart. <laughs> I can lunge all over the f***ing place. <laughs> yes. Yes. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome awesome. back to Underground Nutrition After Hours. I'm Scott. I am co-owner of Underground Nutrition, a supplement store in New Jersey. We have several locations. Can I use several for several. three? Yeah, of course. It's right. more, than few. Oh, it's more than two. We have a few. Several? Several. We have a few. Multiple. We have multiple locations and an online store. And this is Paramount Gym, my best friends and co-owners of Paramount Gym that also has a small Underground Nutrition shop. <laughs> sure does. Inside. Yeah. That we own. That we own. That's our stake. Our franchise. What's up? What's up? So today we're getting right we're gonna get right into this. Well, it's not I wouldn't say a hot take. It's more of like a short story that goes into like some Twitter stuff. Oh, I love Twitter stuff. And he's a he's a local celebrity in New Jersey. I think if you go to the gym in New Jersey, you're gonna know who this guy is. His name is Ian Smith. Mm -hmm. At one time co owner of Attila's gym and uh, made famous by their COVID lockdown protest. Essentially, all of New Jersey's gyms were shut down by our... Not us, because we weren't open yet. You guys weren't open yet. No, we weren't open yet. Well, I'm, I'm going to re remember that for later, because I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to ask you guys. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so he, they took a stance. They took a stand against the government mm -hmm. and opened during the lockdown. I don't think they ever closed, did they? I, I think for I a think couple days. A couple days. Dragging the equipment out in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah, they tried to do a couple different things. Now, my exact timeline, this is completely off the top of my head. So well, I'm, why now? I'm, I might get something. Why now? Why now? Why am I, I bringing it up? We should start there now. Like, you want to start now? now and then we'll go back. <sighs> okay, you so I prove your relevance. I am an anonymous Twitter guy. Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> your boy's back on Twitter. Who? You told us that Me. last episode. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did think I said that in a group chat? No, I said it in a group uh, chat. Elon lifted your. I emailed Elon and said I was terribly sorry for the mistakes I've made in the past. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? I swear to God. I emailed Twitter and Elon and told them that I apologized for the way I behaved in the past and that it wouldn't happen again. And literally <laughs> 12 minutes later, they said if, we, if I remove the following two tweets, that I would be let on. And, and you removed them? I removed them. How come they can't just remove them for you? Well, because they wouldn't. They, it's like they're like a parole board. Like you have to say you're you sorry. Have to right. Show. You, have you have to, to show, show them that you're sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. I appreciate that. So welcome back to I'm, X. No, I'm, it was I'm back X on now. X. I'm on X. Are you gonna behave? Oh, I've been. I listen. I've been way. I haven't even tweeted. You, well, you spent so long being a window. A yeah, shopper. So it's easy for me. So I'm <laughs> you, just. You can get away with a decent amount now. You can get. <laughs> it's way. We can get away with way more than like a year or two ago. Okay. Well, but it's I, good I, to I know. still don't think you can get. Away no, with I'm, what, I'm on probation. What you were doing. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> it doesn't start you back in the beginning as like a regular. Well, it did. Like I had user. to. I had to refollow all the people that I wanted to follow because I had zero followers now. But I just I have my my username. That's the only thing that I had. So I still have the same username and my suggested suggested followers that mm -hmm. I wanted to follow. And then I just started banging them away. Boom, 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 following. And now I am locked in. I mean, I'm going down rabbit holes. They had your email address <laughs> shut down. Could you like, you like a couple IP my address? IP, I, you could every, I could. I tried to go on from my like laptop. Public enemy number one. On I Twitter. was He's banned. Famous. Yes, I was banned. For, I tried to log on. <laughs> you and other, Trump. <laughs> over on truth.com I have email addresses. Did you go I, on Trump's social media platform in I, the interim? <laughs> I couldn't find it. Gab? I couldn't find I never went on that. No, no I can't, he's I can't so. handle any of that stuff. He sucks. Uh, yeah, Underground is, as a Twitter, I have nothing to do with it. I, I followed Underground on Twitter like four years ago. I think Alan made one. Did he? And he, like, I was still working at Merrill Lynch. He texted me at 7.30 in the morning. He's like, follow us on Twitter. Give me a follow. <laughs> I remember. That was a long time Smash ago. Smash that follow button. All right. Well, I apologize for okay, interrupting, wait, but all I right, felt so like I wait, had to let so everybody I'm gonna, know. I'm going to talk about how I went down the rabbit hole of Ian Smith, uh, former owner of Attila's Gym. 
So I, there's a recommended feed, you know, like mm-hmm. for you. Yep. And a tweet came up on my recommended feed, and it was a whole bunch of parentheses, <laughs> and it was about uh, Bankman. Circa 2017. <laughs> Bankman. What's the, the guy's name with the... Uh, the uh, Shitcoin fraud guy. Oh yeah, Friedman um, Bankman. Yeah, I think it's Friedman, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. He, he just got locked up again. Shocker. And I look at the name, and I recognize the name is Ian Smith. And I was like, I know that guy. Is the uh, is that the fucking guy from? And I went on to his Twitter page, and he's gone full blown, full blown what? Red pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Red pill. So uh, I looked at some of his uh, his tweets, and I was I was like, damn, this guy's. He went full Kanye pill. Kanye yeah, he's on. He's on the Kanye. He took the easy pill. <laughs> he took the yeah, easy, he took pill. The easy pill. pill. Okay. You know, Jamie Foxx took that pill for a second. For and then, one second. And then re, re, retract. Well, far. that's interesting that you say that because he reposted the Jamie Foxx thing. The, the oh, he did. Ian Smith. Uh-huh. And I was thinking to my as a business owner, and I didn't realize that he had parted ways with Attila so at this point. I had I, I'd broken from the story, so I had to do some backtrack yeah, to see where we're at. Do some digging, sure. As somebody who owns a business, I, I always, and I have a, a business partner who does not care about politics or anything yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And when you own a business, it's like underground is the both of us, whether you want. So for whatever I'm saying in, in a public space is going to be the both of us. So, mm-hmm. so out of respect for Alan, I really, I get it right up to the sun. I just don't touch it, you know, for out of respect. Because I don't want to want one of my shitty takes to, to fall on him. Yeah. So I'm reading his tweets. I said, wow. So I should be concerned that Justin's back on Twitter. You should be. You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Technically, we are back on <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, uh, so I, I did some um, research on the guy. I, oh, and I, w- I want to say, I went into this. I, I always appreciated what Attila's did during COVID. The which, stance they took. The stance they took. However, I belong to a gym, the pit. Mm -hmm. that was also open during COVID, but nobody would know that because she didn't make a big to-do out of it. Right. It was was done quietly, time slots. You had to basically, like, you were buying sneakers. You had to sign up for a slot. Everybody was super secret. She got it off. So, so, I mean, the rebel in me, I I get it, but the the, I'm like, oh, that's cool. It would be great if it started some domino effect of people all on the same team, like, fuck it, we're going to do what we want. But you, he was. They were just themselves in the middle of it all, and you, you know the old song. I fought the law, and the law won. Sure mm-hmm. did. And they got hammered with fines. Fines. They're still paying. Fines. They got dragged. And the thing about him, this is another thing uh, about him, is that he had a uh, a DWI manslaughter. He killed somebody. Killed a nineteen year old when he was in college. Did he do any time? Five years. Five years. He did. I don't know where he was. I feel like that's another story. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I think we missed each other, but you know I didn't kill anybody. But I, I was no, I was you know he had also done a significant time in in prison. And so another thing I always thought to myself was when it comes to like taking a stance on something, you better better not have too much in your closet because if you remember the media, just they just latched onto that. Yeah, they'll dox anybody, the shit out of you. It dox you, and then yeah. they're going to bring up everything you ever did. Mm-hmm. And like, this is the guy who's leading the, the look, charge. This is yeah. the idiot. You know what I mean? Yeah. We killed somebody because he can't, you These know. These are the people that are disagreeing with us. Yeah. The right. Quality of characters. That yeah. Are look at the person us. that you're following right yeah. now. Yeah. Right. And they dragged him. Mm-hmm. They dragged him pretty hard. Yeah. Right. So, uh, I again, um, I kind of went off track there a little bit, but I saw. On Twitter, he he wrote a book. Turns out that he parted ways with Attila's gym. I'm not exactly sure the circumstances with of that. He ran for congressman. He sure did. Yeah, I saw that. I don't think that he, I panned, think he out. panned out well. No, I don't think it panned out. Uh-huh. But I, I went into looking into him, like w- kind of wanting to just like kind of want to dislike him because in the Twitter sphere, in my in my reality of these things is no matter what you think. Right. If you have um, extreme views or views outside of the norm, and you're saying it with your your face, we call you face fag. Mm-hmm. If you're a face fag, you shouldn't. You should keep your mouth shut for your friends and your family, yeah. and for your business, because there's no good that's going to come out of it. Mm-hmm. What's going to end up happening is you're going to preach to people that all that either think the way you do. Well, and then you're going to have give the loaded gun to all the people that are against that hate you. you. Yeah, you can't going up against 
There's, big, you're going up against a big dog. There's a no. It's there's a no win. And I also think by the end of the, everything I read that he said, I don't, I'm not even saying I agree with any of it. I'm just saying he's got a pretty big set of balls because. I mean, he's saying some fucking crazy shit. <laughs> he's <laughs> off his rocker right he's now. He's saying man. some crazy shit, but he's selling books. So that's another thing, too, is like, uh, I guess if you can find a way to monetize it. Mm -hmm. But I, if you look at with Kanye, they just they, they shut his bank accounts down. Like, they'll go after your ability to bank, you yeah. know? Uh, I don't know who they are, but somebody will go after your ability to bank, you know? So I know you, me and you were talking about this before. What do you think about him? I just <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about John, him, John? Was, John's got a different. John, I, I, I don't this. I'm just gonna say I don't dislike him. After I, I read, I listened to like an hour and a half podcast with him. Where he was talking about his life. He's not an idiot. He he knows what he knows. Seems like he knows what he's talking about, or he's good at regurgitating stuff that sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I mean, I, I wasn't there, like fucking fact checking what he was saying. But I appreciate the stance that they took during COVID. I believe in a freedom of speech, freedom to associate, freedom. To, do we have freedom to ha have a business. Anyway? Freedom that we should. Freedom to run your fucking business. Yeah, freedom to make a living. After a certain point, like mm. once we realized that the people weren't the mass graves in New York, and you know, like it wasn't exactly what they were saying. Well, my my, <laughs> my my whole issue with the whole thing, and you kind of just said it, and I don't mean to attack you, but you were just like, go ahead. You were like, he's not an idiot, so that's. It's like he's a, he's not a meathead. He 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 was in the podcast that I listened to him. It was that he was, you know, he he spoke well, and he seemed like he knew what he was talking about on particular subjects. Mm -hmm. So, I just feel like it's it's to the certain. I mean, I remember for like ten minutes. When he came out, um, and I don't even know if we were even, we didn't even have plans. The The whole gym idea hadn't even come to like come to light yet for Justin and I. But I remember watching it, and for 10 minutes, I'm like, yeah, like this guy is awesome. And then, like, you try to, like, I, we had multiple conversations about it, and, and you, ex you said that, like, and you even said it back then, and I, and I agree with you, but you, but you kind of took the stance of like, you know, I am the face of my business. My um, my uh, whole intention or priority is is to do everything in my power to make my business thrive. Um, you know, you gave the example of the pit, um, and and I don't know. I just I, at that that particular situation, like I look at like you, you know the pit and how Gina did things is like. Um, Gina's intention was to was was to prioritize her business and thrive, and her plan was well thought out. It was well executed, and it was successful. His priority was to put his face on every single social media platform he could and every TV station he could. I, I just think that it's it's apparent what the pri what the intention was behind what he was doing. Like there um, was a little more ego behind it. Hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, it's arrogant and it's, I mean, I would disagree with your, your stance of, of saying it's like, you know, not an idiot. It's, a, and now being a business owner, I get it. Like being in a situation like that, like me, you know, Justin and I, we would really have to, um, think you know, sit, to, you know, sit down, discuss, think outside the box, but I would really hope, and I know that I would be angry and I'm sure that he was acting on emotion a lot of it. Um, but I would really like to think, I would hope that we would come up with something, um, you know, considering that I would, I would rate me and Justin as even higher than not idiots <laughs> um, and, and having, you know, some <laughs> fairly intelligent people around us that, that we would, you know, we, we our, our intentions would be to kind of, you know, serve our customer base and, and move our business in a positive trajectory and have not be so ego and um, emo, you know, no, so egotistical and emotional. So you wouldn't have kicked the the plywood no, stuff down. And it, no, and it was just, it just seemed like such. And listen, it was in the set. I think it worked in, in you know in in a backhanded kind of way because it definitely brought attention 
to the business. Yeah, to the gym. So they were selling merch. Yeah, yeah, merch like crazy. Like crazy. Well, that's what I mean. Um, it was engagement. I but, mean, the amount of engagement we live yeah, in an engagement engage, world. Yeah. You know? But you look at you look at a situation. I don't. I that that was the first time I ever heard anything about that particular gym. Um, I'm not like really? crazy. Yeah, yeah, that was the first time, and and I'm what, and I don't know. And this is an honest question. I'm not arguing, but was his gym regarded as? Uh, uh, one of the meccas in New Jersey prior to all this? Well, I th- what, from what I understand, again, this, this is just off the top of my head. I, At- the Attila's in Belwar, whatever it's called. There's one in Egg Harbor, that, right? They had just bought that that gym. Okay. And it was it was failing. They had a hundred. Uh, they had sixteen thousand square feet or something. The, the people there prior to them were seeing a hundred people a day, uh, tops. And him and his business partner bought that location, and then COVID happened. Okay. And it, in his words, they had, were put in a position where to, they weren't going to be able to survive. Either way. Either way. So they made a decision because they, they thought that it was unfair to have their business be closed, but also because they didn't really have a choice. That, and, and so the cameras, his initial, when he initially said, we're opening, fuck the government. You yeah. know, that's it. And then the response from that probably lit a fire in them, like, oh, shit, there's something to this. You know, because, again, it's like division division breeds engagement, and engagement makes you money. Breeds money, yeah. You know, so, like, yeah. that's, like, the entire X model, Twitter model now is engagement. Mm-hmm. So, you, you like, I'll, I follow people, the couple, that, like, the Krausteins or whatever they are. They're, mm-hmm. like, two left-wing brothers, mm-hmm. and they write the most outrageous milk toast. Stupid shit in the world that I would I would bet money they probably believe half of what they're saying, mm. but the amount of engagement that it gets them from from the left and the right people who, right people hate them and the left love it mm-hmm. and and it gets they they get paid you you get get, clicks, you're, yeah. you're gonna get you're gonna get fucking paid yeah so I mean back then it was a couple of years ago but that was the start of all of that I think it was the beginning of that that clickbait and stuff like that because now everybody's using it not just political you got sports takes that are just out of this world designed designed sports takes that are just wild that you would never think of people throw it out there and you see the youtube views on it and you see the clips on it made on twitter and it's it they know that they're wild for the thinking but they do it literally just for that and i think like john said he's like you're and i'm sorry like you said he's not an idiot i think once he took that stance and then it was like evident how big it was. He was like, "I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run with it." Yeah, and it's easy you know? to let that like. So I mean, I don't know what his political aspirations were going into I don't COVID. Think he had, I don't think he had any. But then you but have then he realized thousands of people saying, "Oh, you know, you're you're uh, you're a revolution. You're leading the <laughs> the revolution." Yeah, exa- exactly. You know, and the, I live in New Jersey, so I know that there's enough to criticize. Where you think, well, oh, I have people know my name, people know my gym, people know what I did. I was on Tucker Carlson. I can run for uh, government. I could try to make some changes or or whatever. Right. And then, from what I understand, this is getting back into the story, was that he had caught another DUI. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, which they, which in his defense was dropped, and it seems as though he was being targeted. targeted. Mm-hmm. I have no evidence of that whatsoever. But I think that led to him parting ways with his business partner at Attila. So he's no longer associated with Attila. Yeah, the partner said there was a significant drop off in, um, I guess, you know, like you said, they were getting a hundred people, and when they were when they were popping off, and then when he got his DUI, there was a, a significant drop off of that, and he blamed it on his partner getting the quote unquote DUI. And he was like, "There's no, no matter if he was right or wrong or targeted or under the influence or not, he was like the <laughs> part. The partner was like, yeah. listen, you got to go.' Yeah, like I tell you what, it's pretty smart if it was a, if it was a ploy by or the powers that be, like get this <laughs> get this guy a Dewey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just figure it out. Yeah, it made this guy seem like a fucking <laughs> idiot. I yeah. just remember, <laughs> and again, it's been it's been a couple years, but I remember." I remember seeing videos, and I don't know. It maybe it may, you could insult me and call me a conformist or whatever name you want to call me, but <laughs> just I just on. no. I, I haven't s- even heard your point. No, yet. not you. I'm just saying somebody like him, what his counter argument would be. But like, 
I used to, I remember seeing videos of him like beyond the gym. Like uh, in airports and on planes and fighting with the the staff about wearing a mask and he's like, oh, I have this condition and blah 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 and it's like, okay, now you're interfering with like the fucking people on the plane and like and like you know I just remember and again you call me what you want but like I remember the people that would just go into the stores with like no mask, you yeah. know I'm a, I'm. A, and it's like you ju- you're just so obnoxious. Yeah. I, I, you're I, I think you're kind of and that that was my take on the whole thing. I, I, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't say I I did it. I wore a mask beyond the point where I thought I needed to just because I didn't want anybody to talk to me. Yeah. That I don't want some Karen personality. You're smart enough to know. I just that didn't you're want somebody to start shouting moment. at me. Yeah. I don't like I don't like that kind of stuff. Like if I if it's gonna be confrontation, I want like I want blood and let's get this. We're shit. fighting. But I don't want some Karen. lady screaming at me in shop right because I don't have a fucking mask on. But it's on. just like I mean like the plane situation and I could be mistaken, but I feel like I saw a video of him on a plane. Like that plane's not going anywhere until they until they get you either off the plane or to comply. And it's like, who the fuck do you think you are, dude? Like, I got somewhere to be. I'm on that plane. <laughs> put, your you? put, yeah, your, put your yeah. mask on. Yeah. Put your American flag mask on. Or get off the plane. <laughs> I, I, you know? I get what you're saying. I want to read some of his you wanna tweets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read along then. I just want to read some. I'm going to pick out a couple tweets. I just want to. Oh, he's selling a book if anybody's interested. Go fucking buy it. My book, Find Your Hill. I guess your hill. Find your hill, find to, your die hill to die find on. Find your hill to die on. Good one, John. I will. I want to first read. Now, look, listen. I went into this thinking how I thought of him during COVID, which was I I believed the things that he was saying. Maybe he's got bigger balls than me, but mm-hmm. I have a business partner. My business was affected by COVID, but we were also considered. Uh, I'm a supplement store, so. You were technically, I was essential. considered you essential because yeah, I vitamins. sell vitamin C. Vitamins, baby. Uh, but we still kept our doors closed for, and we would do Did like contactless, contactless sales and yeah. online. People supported us. I, we, me and Alan, I figured with my backgrounds, rocking the boat, I thought you know the government would bury me. Oh, you, know? you had the the wherewithal to understand that with your background, you shouldn't do something like that. Yeah, well, and That's also what you just said <laughs> with my background yes. doing something okay. like that. To me, I felt like I, the government would have an easy time of Epsteining me. Smush you, yeah. It's called yeah. having awareness. Yeah, and I, and I, and my partner doesn't think the same way that I do, so I would never want to drag him into something because I have some sort of hot political take or want to do something that we both didn't agree on. You know, but I I agreed with a lot of things that he was saying. I was all for at, at that point. I was like, why can't we go to the fucking gym? So all right, so here's a tweet that that caught my eye <laughs> that Elon Musk's ex thought that I would want to see for some reason. Oh, this was the one of your suggested. <laughs> Sam Bankman. Now Bankman is in six parentheses, three yeah. on each side. Yeah. Now anybody who has Twitters in the Twitter world will know that about five years ago. That was a dog whistle for Jewish, Israeli. Right. Right? He seems a little bit. So he put the last name a little behind. Yeah, he's a little. Nobody on the right wing is using the parentheses. In fact, the people that use the parentheses are actually Jewish people. (laughs) 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 Feds. Or or now you'll see like Weissman or like... uh, a lot of the guys like uh, I've seen Ben Shapiro s- use parentheses. Use parentheses yeah. like as like, as like a, a kickback, as like, like a uh, kickback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they took it back like, over. Yeah, listen, it's mine now. Sam Bankman will face no charges. That's the guy who did the uh, the fraud. I and I don't know about that. He's in jail right now. The bi- he did the Bitcoin fraud or something. Yeah, they put him back in jail for trying to um, intimidate witnesses or or fucking fuck with the evidence. Nice. He put. So, okay, so sorry. This is a tweet from Ian Smith, which made me laugh. But I also went, holy shit. <laughs> Sam Bankman will face no charges. That's fucking weird in parentheses. I wonder why in even more parentheses. Yeah. Anyone have any ideas? More <laughs> more parentheses. It's Kanye West. And that was that out. seems I bro, I you know, listen, uh, everybody knows what that means on Twitter. So I was like, wow, he just I, I didn't know that he wasn't with the Tills anymore. I went, wow, he just fucking Fuck his himself. business, yeah, you know, 
Yeah. Ye? Is it yay? Yay to himself. I yay. say ye all the no, time. It's not, it's not <laughs> I don't listen to that shit. It's Kanye. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you wear his clothes. I wear his sneakers. Uh, that was a pretty. That was a pretty good one, and uh, that caught the ire of the ADL, anti defamation, anti defamation league. Sure did. And uh, so this was on stop anti semitism. They retweeted. They retweeted his tweet, and mm -hmm. it says, "Failed congressional candidate Ian Smith of New Jersey is just one of a dozen or so high, higher profile social media users using Sam Bankman Freed." To spew the vi to spew their vile anti-Semitism, in 2019, Smith was involved in a drunk driving crash that killed a 19-year-old, Kevin Aid. See what they did there? They went right back. They're like, "Oh, you're going to be anti-Semitic." Remember when you killed somebody? Yeah, because they're smart. They also turned off all their replies like they normally do. Yeah, but uh, that was a good tweet. Let he killed it. someone in 2007, right? I think. And then he got another charge. The got DUI, a DUI later, later on. Later but they, on. they dropped that. They yeah. dropped that. And um, he actually said when he was getting pulled over by the cops or getting interrogated by the cops that he was running for. <laughs> he Here's another like, good one. Here's another good tweet. <laughs> this is in re response to Eve from ASU. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> Post your earnings from showing your sloppy tits on the internet. I bet that shit box between your legs is even more pathetic than those tits. Oh my god, this guy's <laughs> lost it. I'll post my earnings from one of my companies and we'll all laugh about how pathetic you are together. Jesus. He's, Damn. He's gone. He's off the he's, <laughs> he's off the chain. Uh, These are recent posts too. Like th the, yeah, that was like uh like a couple weeks ago. Wow. So so right now <laughs> on Twitter, I haven't even seen he's losing his mind, going full Kanye. And he's trying. And it, did his book drop yet? Yeah, he's, he's got his book. It's linked to the top. Find your hill. He's. This is the hill he's on. I thought his hill was uh, keeping gyms open during, but apparently his hill is going to be the JQ. <laughs> so that's going to seems like a little bit of a desperate grasp. But that's a hill a lot of people die on. Yeah, especially that uh, is a good place to die. Yeah, especially he's going to be with a book to sell. Yeah, he's going to be on the CIA's list Look, along with uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. I'll tell you what. I am all for saying whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm all for it. I, I say whatever you want. If it's so, if that's what you believe, fucking more power to you. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and I guess now that his disassociation with Attila's and trying to just sell himself has given him, I mean, where where, where are you going to go? I mean, you fought the government. You lost. You lost. You, well, I mean, you might. We don't know. We would have to see what his earnings were. Maybe he sold a lot of merch. Maybe he won that. I know that they owe they owe the government about one hundred fifty thousand dollars in fines, right? For yeah. fines, I think yeah. they're probably paying off or whatever. Uh -huh. I thought it was a little more than that, but I, th I read recently that it was. Uh, so and but now you're you're, you're not associated with Attila's and oh yeah, and he's he's still sponsored by First Farm, which is fucking crazy. Well, I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm like I'm like one of those people. It's like I I'm like good good. Like if you if say whatever the fuck you want to say, man. If companies are still gonna support you and you're still gonna make money off, you can sell your book. Fuck it, I don't care. You're gonna make a ton of fucking enemies though. Yeah, so he's I'm so, not gonna say that shit. So he's a failed congressman into a fucking microphone. Were you nuts? And now he's just trying to be. He's trying to be, take that like. um uh, obviously now the Kanye stance and he's trying to sell his book and I I read a tweet that he was like he's like, I'm I'm unfollowing all conser conservative yeah. ink and I'm just gonna you know get with people that are you know um, man oh, I forget what the yeah word. yeah the real like the man but I'm like bro this is like five years ago like who's you still following Ben Shapiro bro yeah like the <laughs> what are you talking about yeah well what are you talking about? like get with the times dog <laughs> what are you, you know? talking you're not following raw egg nationalist like, yeah what? <laughs> Yeah, you know, Marcus Aurelius. No, yeah, Carnivore Aurelius. Carnivore Aurelius. That's what he wants to try to go. That's his. I think that's his, what he's going to do. But he's going. To, I think he's going too hard. And like I said, he's a face fag. He, you can't do it. You can't do it. They know where you live, bro. Yeah, they already got you. Like people don't. I mean, maybe Soul Bra and those guys have been docs, but they they also they walk a line. Like they're not they're not overtly whatever. I wouldn't be able to say. That raw egg or any of those guys are so you can get you can say oh this guy's probably right wing or this guy's probably left wing but you would be guessing yeah you know like when you take this stance and then you start trying to monetize off of the stance 
it's when it, that's when it seems inauthentic. Yeah. You know, that's what I don't like. You can think whatever you want to think, and obviously I'm a proponent of free speech. You could say whatever you want to say, but it just seems like it's a reach now. Like you're just reaching so hard. And what are you doing? What are you accomplishing other than entertaining a small, obscure group on Twitter? Well, you're, I guess you're trying to sell books. He's literally, he's literally trying everything he can to move the needle to sell his, to to make money. Yeah, That's, engagement. That's all. You know, he's taking the most wildest take to to you know. He posted make money. his earnings on on Twitter on the new X, right? And yeah. that's all based on engagement. Right, and he made ninety bucks, and he said, "I think I'm going to quit all my other businesses and just shit post." Because that's what he's doing; he's just shit posting, mm -hmm. but like plain faced, which is most people aren't doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most people are. You know, there's a frog as their avatar, yeah, and you don't know what their identity is. The he's frogs, <laughs> frog, frogs are, are all right. frogs. Frogs are. I like frogs. Yeah. I'm a big fan of frogs. <laughs> so, you said you had a question for us in regards. I'm just to saying, the, what do you guys? You think? Do you think? All right. So, so the pandemic pandemic hits. You're two months in, all right. Mm -hmm. And the government says, "Here's your twelve hundred bucks. We need you to stay home. You got. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need you guys to just stay the fuck home. All right, you think that you're going big, big balls and trying to? Because none, neither one of you believe. There was a point. I come on. There was a point. There was a halfway point when we all went. Oh God, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. This is not." This doesn't make any fucking sense. From this, jump, I was like that. You two were on the road. It rock. took me a little you while. You guys were on the road. I was fucking, I was disinfecting fucking food. <laughs> like I was fucking, I didn't know, you know? I knew that, I knew that the news. I went, wouldn't come over to walk my dog anymore. I, <laughs> knew, I knew that the media was, 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 were liars, but I, f I thought we would all get together on like one thing and like, you know, not lie about the apocalypse. Yeah. And that's what they do. Well, that's kind of, I mean, it's, again, it's everything, but it's kind of crazy how um, it just immediately fell onto political lines. Every, yeah. Yeah. I remember that year we had, I had like a, a Friendsgiving at my house. And there was, you know, there was what, maybe 30 people invited. And, the, of the people that RSVP'd yes and no, it was a crystal clear political line. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. they're all my friends. I know where they all stand. Yeah, yeah. Some uh, opposite extremes. And everybody I know that came shared, you know, voted in one particular manner. And everybody that did not come voted in another particular manner. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's just if you, you or know. if you would or if you did vote, we all know how you would. Vote. Yeah, yes. it, that that I mean that's what I'm that's yeah. but that's and it's it's you know that's the fun thing about uh alcoholics anonymous and, and NA is that you got you got eco fascists like me who are friends with people like Lou Gora who's basically a tanky <laughs> you, you know and we're friends. We're hugging each other good yeah. happy to see each other. You know? Yeah. You so. and Donnie. Me and Donnie, you guys are best friends. Call me that all the time. You're a Bernie's bro, <laughs> and, and uh, you're best friends, and, and we're best friends. And I think just and one more one more point before you get into the the questions. And I said this to you earlier when we were talking about it. And this is, I, I mean, maybe it's not Ian Smith's fault that you know, I he he gets the the formed opinion from me that he does. But I was saying to you before, like I look at guys like him the same way I look at Andrew Tate and the same way I look at, you know, whether it were Trump or, or any type of, you know, uh, you know, politicized figure. Is Manosphere. I see the people that are supporting you. And like, I, I, I mean, just based off the people, I know nothing about Andrew Tate. Yeah. Nothing. Based upon the people that I know that I see reposting his stuff, I don't like them. You hate them. <laughs> yeah. And that's how I feel about just all the people that were running around with like the Belmar versus everybody show. Oh, you know, like Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just it was it's the same, it's the same people that have the let's go Brandon flags on their boats. And it's just like <laughs> you know I, do you, I mean I get do you I, get what I'm saying? Like it's the initial just, rush is always I always support the initial rush. You know, like I'm like, let's go, Brandon. I was like, this is funny, no. but then, but then it's just, it's like, um, there's a difference between funny and uh, an eight foot flag. 
Well, somebody did it. Remember Flapping from the back? You know the boat, that, that huge fight that happened with the the white guys versus the black guys in the folding chair. Yes, right, in so, Alabama. Yeah, and then some some like a bunch of police officers posted a picture like a big police officers all holding folding chairs and they're like not in Texas, and then everyone's <laughs> like the meat is dead. You've killed it. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. So and that's how it goes with all this stuff. But in the beginning, it's great. Yeah, you're fan. It's, it's, it's fans. It's like a cult of personality. But can people. you like separate it though? Like, I mean, I feel like I'm 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 guilty of it at some point in my life. But you're right. The Let's Go Brandon. It was hysterical for five minutes. You know, for five minutes. But it was. I don't funny. need the bumper sticker. It, I know. Yeah. yeah, but when <laughs> you, when get you got t-shirt. like a, a a flag the size of like my bed flapping from the yeah, back here. Do, do we need to remind like, John of his? Uh, what was your T-shirt? I have, a, I have a lot of great ones. Give me a cringy. What's your cringy? Didn't you have an anti like SJW t shirt? No. I mean, I feel like all my t shirts were a little bit more high IQ than that. I don't know. I feel like I there the, was I one. I had the Milo Feminism is Cancer t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> imagine yeah, imagine wearing Milo on yeah, your t shirt yeah. now. <laughs> it's like, no, but I get what John's saying. It's like anybody that like goes to a protest and t- it's like, I remember there was a comedy sketch by Sebastian Mal, whatever his last name is, I can never pronounce Not it. But Scalco? Yeah. He's just like, you know, you're gonna take the time out of your day to cut a cardboard, you know, cut out and write whatever you want and go to a, a protest. Like you ain't got nothing better to do with your life. <laughs> Where do people get the time? Anybody that takes anything to that extreme, either way, is a loser to me. And yeah. I mean, that's why I got banned from Twitter, because I was making fun of a Trump supporter. Yeah. And I, in every election I've ever voted, I voted for, I voted for um, a Republican. Yeah. And I just literally had it with the Trump supporters. Well, it's like Q and MAGA. Yeah. I wanted to kill myself, so I called him a derogatory name. <laughs> and finally, Twitter was like, that's it. It's the last done. time you can yeah. use that derogatory <laughs> name. And yeah, so the, ma- the MAGA stuff kills me as much as, because it's like... Uh, when you're sort of politically aligned a little bit with mm. somebody, and you and you like see the quad, you know, like it's like a there's qu- always a group of people that give your thought process, whatever it is, a bad name. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, and then you see it on Instagram all the time. Even with music, like like my favorite music in the world, the the my favorite band, the f- the fans are insufferable. I see somebody wearing the shirt, and I'm like, I know I probably who not. Tool fans. Yeah, Tool fans are insufferable. Are they? Oh my really? Why? I didn't Fuck them, God, dude. Really? Yeah. Well, they're because they're you know it's like um, they similar to like Rage Against the Machine fans. Well, you see, for, I think a little bit has to do is you see yourself in, in <laughs> self loathing. You, you know, I, I think, and I think that goes with the MAGA people and shit too. It's like I, I like a little like I'm like, oh my God, is that what I sound? Is that what I fucking sound like yeah, when I when I debate someone? Yeah, but the Tool when fans I talk back are to my mom. You know, I don't know, dude. I, I, because I feel this way myself. It's like we, th- you think your music is better than everybody else, and you're right. Yeah. But you know, you should probably keep that to yourself. And not that big a deal. Everything is nobody. Ca- you're not changing any minds. I don't. I'm not trying to change. Your music is terrible, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm not the only one who feels that. I, I, I read a. I read a Yelp review recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a discussion with him this morning. All right, so let's just tie. I just want to tie the uh, Ian Smith. I just want my final point on it. Right? Okay. As a business owner and as somebody who has independent thought, I agree with a lot of things that he says. I don't agree with all of it. Trust me. I don't, there's nobody in the world I don't think I agree with everything with. Um, but I, 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 I'm happy that he did what he did in New Jersey. I feel like somebody needed to do that with the gyms because I, I think it sort of uh, changed a lot of people's minds. It gave us people like us like a little bit of a... Like, oh, there's these people who are actually doing something about it. Do you think it accelerated the process? No. No, right? If anything, I, I think it hinders say, it. I think so, too. Because All the people right, in power, sure. dude, these, the people in power, they what, they can never be wrong about anything. They, yeah. And they, so they will just double down. They're still they doubling did. down on it. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And they and they will forever. They're, they will. They'll, nobody will ever sit back and say, we were fucking wrong. Yeah. You know, we, we handled this poorly. And And it's funny because I would give you the benefit of the doubt if you said... We didn't know what to do. We were trying to do the right thing. We yeah. were scared. We, yeah, were, we were scared. scared. We didn't right. want to die. People were dying, so you know, we made this call. All of our people, all of our elected leaders are like octogenarians, so that you get they can't get it. You right. know, I, no wonder they want everybody to stay home. They fucking vampires that uh-huh. run our government. Yeah, don't want to get the fucking COVID. No, 
They would die, every single one of yeah, them. Yeah, so they needed to yeah. keep us all in our houses. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the inmates would be running the asylum. Yeah, I, I think the guy's got to... I mean, look, I... I I, I take everything with a huge grain, grain of salt. I, I know he's trying to sell a book, and you know I don't I don't know what his uh, financial situation is. Uh, I'm all for people saying whatever the fuck they want to say. It's hilarious to me because mm-hmm. I mean people lose their effing minds over some words that they don't agree with, especially those words. Like yeah. he's saying the things you can't say. You can't say that stuff. And I, I always and I always look at that with a little bit of skepticism because everybody knows. That that's what you're doing. Like when you take that leap, like you're going into ch- into chart like charted territories. You have examples of people who've done yeah. this, and exactly what happens to them, and it you know it, it it's gonna it's gonna make you infamous. And if you're searching for infamy, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. And you probably don't even believe it all. Well, or, or, even if you do, even if you do, it doesn't matter. Looking, you got to be smarter, man. Like you got to be smarter than that to go down that. You know, rabbit hole. You yeah. really do the far, the far stuff, the far-reaching stuff. I just feel Wild like, shit, I mean, dude. and again, d- going way back again to the beginning, the whole COVID thing with the gym. You're making the point that like you're glad that somebody did something like that. I, I mean, and I, I'm sure somebody in that position would say like, "Oh, I'm making an impact." Like they didn't make an impact. Gina made an impact. In my opinion, well, you, well, you well, yeah, you were able to you go. Didn't to make an, you just you, you gave us some stuff to watch on social media. You annoyed a whole bunch of people. You didn't actually accomplish anything. Well, you know, I think people like him gave action to the thought process. You know, I, I, that's that's it. Is because I felt the same way. I thought, what? Why can't we go to the gym under certain protocols? Why can't we wear masks and wipe the equipment down? Stay away from each other. Have a certain amount of people in at the same time. Why can't I go to the grocery store? You know what I mean? There was just. There was a cognitive dissonance with the things that I was allowed to do, and everybody who had a brain could see it. There was no, there was no difference in going to a gym or going to a supermarket. There was it's just no. none, and, and they could have done it in a way that didn't hurt people's businesses or fucking. There's plenty of people that lost it. He put action to the thought process. I, I mean, I wasn't gonna fucking do it. I didn't open a gym. I'll go to your gym, but I'm not gonna fucking do it. I wa- I'm not. I wasn't in a position in my life. Having a business partner and having the background that I do, I know what happens when you fight the law. I know. I've seen it. I tried to f- fucking stick up for myself in prison a couple of times. You know what happened? The law won. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beat your fucking ass. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So what was your question? I was just saying, would you guys have d- stayed open? <laughs> would you Would you guys have taken a stand or would you guys... Sounds like from John. You, you I feel like you would have been like, fuck you, we're open. <laughs> I would like to think... Um, that we would have handled the situation with a little bit of intelligence and self-awareness and stealth and, you know, come up with some type of method just to keep, you know, breath in our lungs, whether it was, you know, what Gina did or... Similar you know, to that, well, we yeah. wouldn't have done what he did because that's that's not the type of people. Yeah, that it's we not. Are. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not even if it, even if we were like well, that's just it's just not the type of people we are. And you know, I I'm think a, we would have went to Old Bridge Police Department and been like, listen, listen, a couple of you guys are members here. Like, we're gonna keep this train rolling, but we're gonna do it smart. We might need you might need you to learn, you know, like look, look the, the other, other way. way. Um, and we would do, I think we would have come up with something very, very similar to what Gina did. And Gina was a genius from the pit. Yeah. You know, she, I don't think she ran into any issues at all. Not one. I was there every day. I was like, it was like a Kanye drop when she opened the slots to sign up for like a, you know, a session and she was great about it. I think her gym benefited because of COVID and the way she handled it. I think a lot of people signed up for her gym because she was one of the only gyms around us that were was open. That's why I signed up. Yeah. And know. she's outspoken about the way she feels about the world. And, oh, and she's very outspoken. Politics. Yeah, she, and she probably has turned some people off whatever. because of that, but I don't think she gives she one fuck. She listen magnificently. But, yeah, she might handle some things a little differently than I would in certain areas, but with that thing... She crushed it, yep. you know, and I was super grateful for her because I needed somewhere to go, yeah, you know, good. during that. We were playing tennis. We were playing tennis, you know, <laughs> cardio ball. We were we were doing lunge challenges. <laughs> Remember when we challenged each other? Can you do three? How long does it take you to do three hundred lunges? <laughs> 
It's like, God, we are losers. It took me no time because I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Adam did it. And then you had like the push up challenge. Push up challenge. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, remember, so, I remember you made cringe. a video I made on it. that. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, I'm not doing a push up challenge. <laughs> <laughs> but, Tag four I mean, friends. You, listen, you think you. It, unfortunately, that was a situation that required some creativity. And, and I just don't think. I never thought there was anything creative about being the loudest guy in the room, and and that's just in in every area of life. I've I've said I've said that for as long as I can remember. You know, you you have to in a situation like that, especially when your whole life is on the line, you have to go back to the drawing board, and you have to you have to you know put your livelihood first and your ego or whatever not first. I don't know. I mean, perfect example. I I, I would. Maybe I'm wrong, but I would you that's when you started doing those Instagram clown videos. And yeah, it's, Look at be, what it's led become to this. A, it's become a, it's literally why we're sitting here right now. Probably. And it is because and it became something that all of your customers or fans, even people that follow you that don't <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no, but th- I meant your followers, the people that don't shop. You, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That, you know, still enjoy following you. It's it, it became something to this day that they still expect yeah mm-hmm. i didn't i didn't i don't have that thing in me to lean into it like i just had to i did it because i liked it mm-hmm. and, I, and i liked that people liked it yeah once you got the once i you liked got the being response, funny that's it yeah. i just wanted people to laugh and i wasn't really trying to sell anything yeah but once you got the response you were like oh wow okay and I, there was a lot of things i wanted to say that i didn't say because i have a business partner to this day we have a lot of things we want to say that we yeah, don't say I mean, you know obviously we try to say it but john's like no we're not but, but say. i mean it's but like it, no it's true but what would be the point is for to get a couple of people who agree with us and then get a bunch of people mad and then my my partner yeah who, who's been with me from the beginning is like you know put in some sort of crossfire because I have a big mouth. Yeah, you know I just that's it. It's not right. It's if it was just smart. me, I would say you know I don't I don't care. But even then, like it's just in polite society. Some things you just say in a group chat to your friends. Right. You know. Yep. In a polite society, I like that. Yeah. You know. There's, well, good luck to Ian Smith and well, his book. Yeah. I'm not going to buy his book. I'm going to continue to. Hawk his Twitter though because it sure it is, is fucking fun. I'm having a good time yeah. on his. But like, just for the record, I just so him. we're crystal clear, this is why he's doing what he's doing. What? What we're doing, right? Well, people talking what about what we're him. doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah. Are satisfying yeah. his. Yeah. The, yeah. I, mean, I don't are we care. Gonna, are we going oh, to? Are we going to tag him in the? <laughs> well, well, I'll him? put his whole name in in Attila's and all yeah, that stuff. I don't care. See if he replies. I I went into like this whole thing with after listening to his podcast. And going through his Twitter and like reading the articles, I had like a I think I thought lower of him, um, and now I, you know I don't I don't I listen to what he had to say. We have a lot of things in common, you know. We both did a bunch of time in prison, fucked up our early life, and threw ourselves into training and all that kind of stuff. He's got a big personality. Mm-hmm. I just. Um, I don't. He has a type, the type of personality that's made for that kind of stuff. For I'm not made to be on a Tucker Carlson like interview. I'm, I'm not. That's not me. If he invited me, I'd go. I was gonna say if Tucker called you right now and said, "Come on in," you'd be like, "Let's go." I feel like you might have been on Tucker. I was <laughs> Am on I Tucker. To say that I was on Tucker. Yeah, you were on Tucker. But it was just a picture of me. Oh yeah, yeah. I was at a. I was part of Antifa. <laughs> Attacking John. I, was, <laughs> I think I remember was that my, now. I, wait, I was, before yeah. that gets cut out, I was never part of Antifa. No, no. I, I went to go see somebody speak. Right. And we were attacked by Antifa. Didn't like you like leave John out? He sure did. Yeah. He no. was, he he didn't ran you away like, from me. Yeah, didn't you he like, said, I'm going with the popular that's kids. That's not what you happened. I, I think I remember like John being All, like caught in like, you there's know, there's video. In a door. <laughs> in a door. <laughs> in a spinning door. In a spinning door. And Scott was like, I it wasn't gone. Scott's I was on one <laughs> side of the door, and there's 500 people. With there was probably a, weapons on the other side of the door, just trying to beat you up. <laughs> we were because attacked, you, right? And listen, it, it's it's a war. It's a fight scenario. Jesus, I'm just. I got my head on a swivel. I had a mission: get inside the building. That was the mission. You Everybody else failed it. their mission. Clearly, I, what, not there was, wait, I was going to say, "What's up?" Dude? You're like oh, wait, supposed listen. to be an army vet, dude. So no I'm man standing, left behind, yeah. dude. I'm standing inside the building, <laughs> and John is caught. John's got his hands on the windows. <laughs> He's like in the revolving door, yeah. which is locked. Uh-huh. Part of his body is through. Oh I remember God. this like it was yesterday. <laughs> 
He's got his arm reached out. <laughs> That's not true. And he goes, Scott, help me. <laughs> Scott, don't leave. <laughs> and I said, hold on. I'm going to go see what's going on upstairs. <laughs> I'll, be right, I'll be right, right back. back. <laughs> no man left behind, Scott. They were, mace, God, they were throwing damn. mace around. Yeah. Pepper spray. Who are you going to see? Jordan? No. No. Gavin, Gavin McGinnis. Gavin, Gavin McGinnis put a butt plug in. <laughs> <laughs> fucking retard. At NYU. That he fucking got fed. In. Yeah, he's a fed. But he's fun. I mean, he was funny. Back he in was the hysterical. time. hysterical. Listen, we did all the fun stuff. We I know went you to did. Shia LaBeouf's We Will Not Divide Us. I remember. Well, you guys are getting, getting, that was a great time, You guys dude. are getting punched in the stomach trying to think of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> no, <laughs> relax. Jesus Christ. Relax. Never that. <laughs> No, but very quickly I realized that people that like meet up and do stuff are just they're all feds. They're all they're all the police or it's retarded. Like I said, costume it's party. a costume party. Yeah. It's a, on both sides. You don't got anything better to do with your time. Well, I wanted to fight. We did it at that time. I wanted yeah. to fight anybody. Yeah. And I, I, and glad like, you grew up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm fuck. glad. I, once I saw it all for what it was, and I was like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah. This is everybody's stupid. Yeah. All you right. Know? I go. I wanted to see Antifa. Up close and personal, and I did. I saw them, and they're weird. It's kind of crazy. And yeah. they're macy. They spray mace, and yeah. they spit, and they're fucking terrible. Yeah, you know, purple hair and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. When there's five hundred of them, New York, five hundred of anything. Wild. New York anarchists. I think. Scott, I mean, I think uh, Donnie was down there. Donnie probably was down throwing, there. Donnie throwing eggs at you. I was, was going to say Donnie's throwing flag. eggs at you. Yeah. <laughs> Don yeah, I was gonna say, oh, Don, what, this man, fifty-five already. This is Donnie's least favorite yeah, episode. Yeah, it's all right. Did we have another? Uh, Why? Did we have another? Uh, you always stance? say that. You gotta talk about the Barbie. Do you want me to talk about Barbie Scott's Barbie. movie review? Barbie. Okay. I like. It was great. It was funny. Ken. Ken Kenuff. He was Kenuff. <laughs> Ken Kenuff from Connecticut. Yeah, I, like yeah. the the feminist part of it fell super flat for me. I was like, basically, Ken, Ken came into the world and saw how cool it was, mm -hmm. flapping his fucking, waving his dick around like a fucking baby elephant. Right. And he went back to Barbie world and was like, like this bro, sucks. guess what? We don't have to live like this. We don't have to live in the longhouse anymore. And uh, I thought it was a great movie. Aesthetically pleasing, funny. Um the big me message was feminism and that uh, women should oppress men at every opportunity they get. Uh, but instead, they ins failed at that. Instead, they, they show that the co star, the male co star, will outshine you in every way possible. <laughs> 10 out of 10 times. No, I don't mind. The, the message was I mean, it was about a, a little girl, I, I guess, it, her Barbie. She's like losing connection to, the, to her Barbie. So, Barbie and Barbie world is getting like fucked up, and her feet are flat, and she has to go to this world to essentially reunite that connection. Turns out it wasn't the little girl, it's actually the little girl's mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, and through some feminism and some in, with female empowerment, they overcome the patriarchy, go back to the Barbie world, uh, put Ken back in the longhouse and just crush him under brutal feminism. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I thought it was a really good movie. It's funny. I bench you got Ben Shapiro crying about it. You got all these people saying this like left wing pro but it's like for little girls. It's like yeah. little girls for like little girl empowerment. Like I have no connection to Barbie other than like like a, some weird sexual connection from when I was a kid. It was like Barbie dolls. You could touch their like fake tits, you know? When you're like a fucking six this year old. This is crazy. What? You didn't do that? No. <laughs> you didn't? You what? Uh, uh, no, I never fondled a plastic Barbie doll. For real? No, I never fondled a plastic you never Barbie doll. No. no. Have no. you ever had? Did you have Barbies in the house? Like. Yeah, I think my sister had. You and you didn't put them in awkward sexual positions? <laughs> no. Was, Are you serious? I was 69ing them. I the was. Again. <laughs> you, I, I thought that was like every guy does that. No, I. Donnie, I mean, it's cool. You don't know what I'm talking about, Donnie? <laughs> what? The bundle of. <laughs> Do you, bro? What? I was a little I mean, kid. It, it answers I, I a lot of questions now. It was I, a, I was a. I, I, don't, I had dinosaurs. <laughs> we didn't even know we're asked. <laughs> right. That I never even thought of. But now I'm like, oh, that makes some sense about Scott. Huh. So you so your your first sexual experience was not like with a Barbie. I'm the only one on this. My first sexual experience was not with yeah. a Barbie. No. Jesus Christ! What no. about you, Donnie? I'm an only child. 
<laughs> you had no <laughs> barbie shorts in the house. No, my sister was a lot older. My than sister's me. gonna be upset to find out that <laughs> that you she shouldn't have left her barbie's, barbie's hanging in the around shower. Yeah. yeah, no, I my sister's a lot older than me, <laughs> so I didn't. were in the shower. <laughs> yeah, there's dolls in it, you know, for bath time. Yeah, bath time. I, I understand that. See? I, I understand that. He's I didn't lying. go through that. <laughs> I didn't go through that. You know, um, but that's pretty funny. That's pretty. Funny. Is it funny? It's I just felt like this was like everything. Like this was what guys no, did. Maybe Barbie dolls. listen. Con, um, Nobody's con, judging you. Yeah, I'm not judging. I'm, you, I don't dude. feel judged. Listen, I'm just surprised okay. to find you had a sister. You had Barbie dolls in the house, and you didn't like. Maybe other people will write. Them? Maybe other people. <laughs> no. Maybe maybe some of the viewers will write in the comments and be like, "Scott, I'm right with you." you know? I feel like this is a thing. Yeah, no, but, uh, right. it wasn't a thing with me. I'm not ashamed of it. That's I just, it, I don't know. I had a particular thing for a while. You know, the tall blonde. Big tits thing. <laughs> My man. This podcast got interesting. Yeah. Super. I wish everybody everybody's gonna Nobody be real got mad here. that they did that they clicked off after ten minutes. <laughs> Nobody yeah. got here. Maybe, I was gonna say we should put this part first. <laughs> no, the, the you movie better not. Don't put this as a re make this as a reel for <laughs> underground. <laughs> you talking about fucking Barbie's sixty nine ink <laughs> doing all sorts of stuff. Doing I thought this splits. was pretty common. No, I'm listen. I don't know the if naked it was Barbie going. thing is like pretty common for little kids. Like I was a little boy. The fuck with so yeah. I never seen new tits before. You know. Yeah, no doubt. I hear you. Um, then, then I found like you know the the Woods Playboy stack. Yeah, know, I remember the, I found the collective the VHS dial up internet. The, uh, the well, I remember I, the, VHS first porn I saw Insatiable. I remember it uh, at certain. Uh, was that channel? Remember that the um, oh, everything would be like blurry, and then it would catch for like three seconds. Yeah, dude, get involved, and you have to like time it perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I thought doggy style was anal forever. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I didn't know. I, you didn't know. Should we wrap this up <laughs> on that? <laughs> I, you, I didn't understand. I didn't understand okay. the anatomy. Of yeah, yeah. It. you know, like until you found the Barbie doll. Well, that didn't you, help either. No. They didn't have any. Barbie dolls left a lot. And then of I found then I found the woods uh, penthouse and there's a it made stack sense. in the woods and I was like, oh, that's how it works. You get there from the back. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I can't wait for that day. You know. All right. Well, at least you were playing in the woods. That's good. Oh, you we were playing. Yeah, we were playing in the woods. Yeah. You didn't have that. You didn't have the the hidden porno stash. You I know, but I did play in the woods a lot. I found woods very fascinating. I, we used to smoke cigarettes in there. Yeah, I mean that's the kind of stuff. Light stuff on fire. Oh, you were, but you were like doing drugs. <laughs> you <laughs> skipped like the sex fascination, <laughs> went right to Robitussin. <laughs> John, John was John, possible. John was drinking Triaminic at like <laughs> at fucking yeah. nine years old. It was like this is it, cool. In the woods, smoking fucking <laughs> yeah, smoking Marlboro Reds. Yeah, little Marlboro Red butts. Yeah, no, I hear you. I had the stash in the woods too, the Playboy stash. Yeah, it was like a whole group of us friends we would, like, would steal from because uh, they were stealing from their. It wasn't my father because he wasn't there, mm -hmm. but uh, the other kids they were stealing. Yeah, from their dad's uh, Playboy stash. Yep. and we'd throw them in the woods. We'd have a spot, and you can go look at them. <laughs> do what we do. Do what we do. That's I don't, what. That's what. Man, like uh, you get to move a bush aside. It was like in a plastic <laughs> bag under a tree, like under like a falling down tree. Yeah, it was like the fat. It's the, like the, the Goonies. Yeah. Yeah. Or that, or like, <laughs> or like the Goonies going on. What, what, what was that movie with that was with all the Did fat the kids truffle at the shuffle? fat camp? And they like would move the, the tree stump aside and they would have all like the hostess cupcakes in there. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, no, that's what John was the, doing. That's the, stash. that's the stash I was looking for in the woods. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, my movie reviews are uh, Barbie was a. <sighs> Failed feminist. A pleasant movie. surprise. It was a gr it was fun. It was a fun movie. It was fun. You wear pink. It was fun. I said, "Oh, freaking wear pink." I drove by the movie theater. There's a bunch the other day, yeah. and there was. And this is how long has Barbie been out? I don't know. A couple. I'd say a month. Yeah, probably a month. Yeah, yeah, I drove by there on like a weeknight, or yeah, it was a weeknight, and there was probably twenty or thirty women ranging from age to like five to fifty. All pink dressed out. in pink. Wearing and pink. Yeah. Just dressed in pink, taking yeah. pictures outside. I really wish I did a Barbie underground shirt. I really, I, I dropped the ball on that. I should have did it with the bar. I looked at it. Barbie script, black and pink. We would have like Ken from Beyond the Pines. Like yeah, with face tat. Oh, yeah, that would have been sick. That would have been flexing. Fucked up. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. I think that's it. Donnie, you got anything else you want to, how do you feel? 
I feel like you feel, you're not feeling great. You say this every fucking time. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, John's going to say it sucked at the end, and then... Donnie, do you want to do a day in the life of me and Justin? No, you can't do that. He's got he's got work. I, he's what? got work he's to got, do. He's got work to do. Yeah. <laughs> he's got work to do. That would be good. That, that would be it. good. That would it. The, how, how different. How different our lives are. <laughs> Justin coming and waking me up at 10 a.m. <laughs> Getting mad at him because he's not answering the phone at 9 a.m. Starbucks. Yeah. Playing golf. 